Hi everyone, it's Holly Schultz from babygizmo.com. Today we are taking a look at the new Orbit Baby Helix Double Stroller. This is Orbit Baby's first double stroller. It is highly anticipated by those that have been waiting for a double from Orbit. Now, it's actually called the Helix 2 because it is a stroller built for two. Now, if you already have the G2 from Orbit Baby, you can buy an upgrade kit for $350 that's going to turn it into the double. Now, let me tell you what it comes with. First, if you have the G2, you probably already have the infant seat and the stroller seat. So the upgrade kit doesn't come with any seats. It's going to come with the handle. That's the new telescoping handle to accommodate this back seat. It's going to come with a new larger basket that's easy to access from front and back. And it's going to come with brackets that attaches to the frame and this lower frame piece to hold the back seat. So those are the things that's going to come with the upgrade kit. Now you can also buy the Helix 2 as the full set like I have here. It starts at about $1,300, so it's going to give some parents a little bit of sticker shock. Um, but depending on which seats you choose is how much your total package is going to cost. Now let's take a look at the ins and outs of this double stroller. Okay, I've broken the stroller down into the single form. This is one of those modular strollers where can, you can use it as a single or you can transform it into a double when you have two kids and even back to a single. It also has the versatility to take all four of Orbit Baby's seats. It takes the bassinet, the infant seat, the stroller seat, and the toddler car seat. And it takes them in, you can mix and match them in either position. It does have the smart hub ring, so that, and when you have it in doubles form, it has two. So it has the dual smart hub rings to attach the seat, and it does have the great 360 ability that Orbit Baby is known for so that you can rotate the seats, and that's going to be the same in doubles mode. Now, the seats are the same Orbit Baby seats. Like I said, that's why they fit. If you need all the specs on that, just go back and watch our Baby Gizmo Orbit Baby G2 video, and that's going to give you all the dimensions of the seat. But for time today, we're going to just look at it in doubles form. Now, it's the same, it's the same frame as the G2. It just has these added brackets to slide in the back seat. So that's why you can get that upgrade kit and still use most of your frame. What it does add is it adds the new, the new handlebar up here. So let me show you how easy it is just to slide in the devil's kit. Before I put in the back seat, let's look at the baskets since it's easier to see this way. This is a new basket. It's much longer, it's much bigger, and it has a lot more easy access because this just folds out. You can get right in there and you can do the same from the front. So it's a lot easier to access. People are gonna really like this new basket. Plus I could get into it from the side. It has side zippers over here to hold some loose essentials. So it's a really good improvement on the basket. Now, when we put in the second piece for the Helix, these are the brackets down here. All it is, and this is what comes with your upgrade kit. It's the frame and you just slide it right in like that. And now here's your smart hub ring that your seat is going to go. Like I said, any of the, the Orbit Baby seats are going to fit here. And what I really like about it is that it takes a bassinet and a stroller seat. Or you can do two bassinets for twins. So I love the versatility of it. Okay, so you just put your stroller seat on. It still has the ability to recline. It still can rotate 360. Now what's great about this is if you have a toddler, hop it in the back seat. Just swivel it, they can hop in on their own, gives them that sense of independence. Just swivel it and you're ready to go. You can also rotate the front seat so that the children can look at each other if your kids are friendly. <laughs> you can have the front one reclined. You could also do two bassinets if you have twins. You could do two stroller seats, two infant seats. So it does have a lot of versatility. So let me rotate this one back around. I really, really like the rotation feature of the Orbit Baby. So, so now let's talk about this rear seat. Like I said, it's a full size seat because you're using your Orbit Baby seats. Up to 40 pounds each seat. So the stroller as a whole can accommodate 80 pounds. Now, if you're concerned that the child's feet's gonna get in the way of the basket, remember, you can ask, access the basket from the front or the side. So you're still gonna be able to get into your basket and your child's feet's not gonna take up basket real estate because it's still this back seat still has a foot rest so I really like that feature the back seat can, it can swivel all the way to the side now let's talk about the canopy this is something that a lot a lot of parents are concerned about with the helix 2 is the lack of, of 
protection, sun protection for the canopy of the rear seat. Because the canopy, you can't use it while you're obviously using the handlebar and you need to use the handlebar right. So here's the thing. I think Orbit Baby should have addressed this a little bit better. What they did is they put an iPad holder up here. So you can have an iPad holder up here. So if you're looking for directions, you're walking around the city, you can access your iPad. Um, I think it's kind of funny <laughs> because if you switched it around, maybe your baby could like watch cartoons on the iPad, which don't do that. But I'm just saying, I just kind of, I think it's kind of funny that they built in an iPad holder for um, you to look at. Again, probably for directions, not to be watching, you know, episodes of Glee or anything. <laughs> but I just think that's funny. So they doubled that as your sun protection. Now we know that's not going to do it. That's not going to be enough especially if you're in New York or Chicago where it snows because this little iPad thing, it's just not, it's not going to do the job. So I'm a little concerned about the, the protection in the back seat as well. And what I found you can do because you still need to have your handlebar all the way out about like that. Now that's about as much canopy as you're going to be able to use. Now, if you're really concerned about it and let's say you're in New York, what I found is that if you turn the seat around like that, put, put it like that, you actually could use the entire canopy. Now, I'm not gonna lie, these kids' feet are gonna hit your legs. You're gonna have to do a really short stride. Um, you probably wouldn't need that much canopy. You just have to, you know, reach out a lot for it, but if you're dying for the canopy and it's a windy or a snowy day, you could do it like this if you wanted. It's just when the seat is forward facing, you're not going to be able to do it unless you, I mean, there are ways to work around it. There really are. Recline it all the way and then use part of the canopy. And then you have the other part blocked with the iPad holder. So I think the back seat canopy situation, it, it still needs a little bit of tweaking. It still needs a little bit of work, especially for those people that, that need either the sun protection or the snow protection or something like that. Um, so I think that is the one, that's the one downfall of the Helix 2 is this back canopy position um, that doesn't cover your baby all the way. Also, let's talk about the wheels. Now, I'm not going to lie. This is a huge stroller. I don't know how much it weighs, and you probably don't need to know. It's heavy. Just know it's super heavy. But you're never going to lift it. You're never going to lift it as one piece. Because when you fold it, you have to remove the seat. Both seats have to come off, and the helix um, part back here, the back seat frame, has to come off. So you're never going to lift this into your trunk in one piece. So I guess weight doesn't matter. It's only going to matter when you're pushing it. But let me tell you, that's a long stroller. <laughs> Any tandem one with two full-size seats is going to be long. This one's a little bit, it's extra long. It has six wheels. That's how long it is. Now, that is great for stability because this is a stable stroller. You're not knocking this one over. Um, it has 10-inch wheels in the middle and then a set of 7-inch wheels in the front and 7-inch wheels in the back. So that's going to give it all the stability for two children that you need. It's 40 pounds per seat, a max weight of 80 pounds. Um, but it is long. I, <laughs> I'm going to say you have to like a tandem stroller in order to get on board with this one. Let's talk about maneuverability on the Helix 2. Now your first you're going to want to have this handlebar all the way pulled out so that you have enough clearance from this back seat. I'm 5'5". Five five. I have no problem whatsoever walking with the Helix and not kicking the back of the stroller. The only time you would is if you rotated the seat all the way to use the canopy like I showed you. Then you might, you know, hit the kid's legs with your shins. But other than that, this handlebar, it comes out a lot. So they did accommodate you well with that. Now, this isn't one of those strollers you're going to be able to zip around with one hand fully loaded. It's not that. It's a lifestyle stroller. It's not right for everybody. Um, it's gonna, if you have a 40 pound kid in each seat, 80 pounds, you're gonna have to use two hands like most strollers. It's not an all-terrain stroller. It's meant best for smooth surfaces, inside, out, you know, just not a lot of grass, a lot of playground mulch. If you do wanna go over playground mulch and grass, you would lock those front wheels and you'd give it a little bit of oomph to get it going because it is heavy. Now, it does have good maneuverability. Those front wheels, they do swivel. It is easy to turn. It's just you can feel the weight. You can feel the weight on this one. And unless the seats are empty or you have two tiny little babies, you are going to have to use two hands. You're going to have to give it a little muscle. 
but that's a full-size luxury double stroller for you. That's kind of how it goes. Um, so my only other thing is you see how much give there is in the center right there? That is so that you can probably bump it up some stairs. Now, if you have a lot of stairs that you go, this isn't the stroller for you. No stroller is best for anybody, but it's not the stroller for you because you're not going to be able to get it up really big stairs. Now, if you do need to, you know, get it lifted up over a curb or something, just make sure you don't have a 40 pound child up there. You step back here and you're going to have to lift the entire stroller up. Um, because it's just going to give it enough give for a tiny, you know, tiny curve. Otherwise, you got to lift it up like that to get it upstairs. You have multiple stairs. This isn't the stroller because you'd have to break it down. You'd have to lift it up. It would be, it would not be good. So, but if you're just, you know, normally you fold it, you put it in your trunk, you, you, you know, go around on the mall. This is a head turner. I'm going to tell you this, like I said, lifestyle stroller. People are going to pay attention to it because it's unique, it's different, um, it's new. <laughs> An Orbit Baby usually gets that kind of attention, so I like it. I'm a little concerned about the back sun and weather protection, and I'm a little concerned at how long and heavy it is. But not deal breakers, it's just I want to tell you my concerns. Um, I just wish they would fix that back protection somehow. I don't know how, but I think they should fix it. Um, other than that, I think it's really cool. I think it's, you know, it's the new happening stroller and I think people are going to like it just for the, um, the chicness of it. So there you go. That's kind of my look at the Orbit Baby Helix too. And I'm Holly Schultz from babygizmo.com.